Hey, welcome back to uh, another day of paneling. Uh, I'm Humble and this is Drive Driver Driven. And behind me, Project Blue Unicorn and the body back here on the ground. Um, for paneling, where we left off is we had uh, the two side panels done, more or less. You can see it there. Um, the driver's side needs a little bit of trim work, as you can see. We'll get to that in a moment. And right now, I'm working on this panel, which is the front bulkhead panel. Uh, you can see here, these are the openings for the pedal cluster. And this old piece fits down. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. up into here just like that so I still need to cut the openings for the actual master cylinder plungers to pass through you can sort of see where I've marked out there but uh, once I get those pass-through holes marked, I can start drilling the rivet holes. And then we'll be one more panel down, and then just a few more panels to go.
Hey, quick update. Uh, still working on paneling. Uh, you can see kind of the mess behind me. I'll show you what I've been working on. So these two side panels are pretty much done. You can see the holes are drilled. It's clears for the seat belt. Everything's ready to go. On this lower panel, you can see I got the end of it trimmed off and it's ready to fold over that little area here next to the footwell. On the bulkhead panels, uh, those two are all drilled out, ready to go. I haven't done these sides yet because, oh, let's go around to the current side. You can see right here there's a uh, kind of like a C channel, one inch C channel that bridges the gap between the rear bulkhead panel and the passenger, passenger compartment side of the bulkhead panel uh, because these panels themselves don't actually stretch to the tubing on either side and the roll hoop. Uh, so these have been cut down to size. Uh, only uh, two holes have been drilled on this side and none on that side over there yet. Uh, there's the driver's side. Uh, those are kind of a pain to drill just because it's such a weird angle. But once I get those in, then the holes on this side of the channel and then on the other side of the panel can be drilled and everything will be ready for final riveting. I already started drilling some of these holes back here in the chassis. Uh, all the ones down the center rib and then some of them top bar uh, just to hold this panel in place with the Clecos. Um, <clears throat> but with that said, that's uh, was that four panels nearly totally finished working on the f oh sorry five panels i forgot about the front bulkhead this panel is completely done um and it's ready to have the holes drilled in the chassis and i've even drilled and got the the uh, hole for the steering shaft which will pop through here um, and then likewise uh, these two holes are for the e-brake cables and uh, the shift cables you can Kind of see you all the way back there. There's a, a sister holes in the, the rear of the bulkhead panel, and then there's going to be a boot that goes in there to keep the elements out. That's it for this vlog. Uh, tune in next time, and we're going to continue with the panels. Maybe even get them finished up and uh, ready for rivet and possibly sealing. And uh, soon after that, we'll flip the chassis over and we'll start on the underside panels. All right, I'll see you next time.